This is lesson 2 in the unit of work for S1 Graphic Communication 1 Point Perspective. Last week we started working on learning how to actually create 1 Point Perspective cubes. So what we did was we created the worksheet as follows. So we have this worksheet here that you hopefully created last week and sent to your teacher where you created 4 cubes in 1 Point Perspective and then you tried to add some more into that worksheet. So we're going to build upon that lesson today and we're going to try and, and increase further our knowledge of perspective. So in this worksheet here, which is worksheet 2, which again you can download from Teams or you just create a blank sheet and this one very similar to last week except this time instead of having just a simple rectangle it's got another rectangle inside it. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about drawing one-point perspective cubes, but with hollow hollowness to them or holes in them. So it relies on some of the, the work that we did last week and remembering what we did last week. So I'm first of all going to ignore the, the bit in the inside of this one. And just using what we learned last week, I'm going to take the corners of the, the cube back to the vanishing point and I'm going to create a one-point perspective cube as my starting point. So if you remember, that was the first part where we take the lines back. We have a line parallel to this edge here where we decide upon the depth. This one I'm going to make about so far deep. And then I do a horizontal line parallel to that line and from the end here. And that gives me my basic shape. Now at the moment, when I outline these in, what that looks like is a cube with a label on it. But what I'm wanting to do is to make it look as if this is a hole which goes all the way through that box. And there's a very, very simple way to do that. And that is we take a line from this inside point up here back to the vanishing point. Now I'm going to do this one quite lightly because not all of it is going to be part of the final drawing. So as soon as I do that, you start to get this impression that it's going back into the vanishing point. It looks like it's hollow, but that inside bit looks a little bit deeper than here. So a very simple technique is, all I'm going to do is from this bottom corner, I'm just going to bring a line up, like so, and take a line across, like so, and darken in the line. And what we get is the impression that the, this rectangular hole is going through it and then you can see the back of the box as well. So that's our first um, one point perspective cube with a hole in it. We're now going to try and do the same thing to this rectangle at the bottom. So the same principles, take the corners of the outside back to the vanishing point, decide upon a depth, draw in your horizontal and your vertical line Darken in the sides so that it stands out. And then once you've done that, we then start to deal with the inside. So we've got that done. Again, it looks like a label or a sticker. What I'm going to do now is take from that vanishing point there to the back of the square. Take that going in like so. And then working with the same principle, I started with this corner here and I went up. So I'll start with this corner here. Now it so happens that it's almost directly in line with it. So really all that I would see in this case is that shape. You would see it going back. You wouldn't see the back of it. So we'll move on to the one here in the bottom corner. This one has a hole going through it so it makes it quite a thin box. So if I take my lines back, decide upon a depth. I haven't been making these too deep so that I actually can see the back of the box. So again, there's the basic shape. I'm going to take from this corner here, back to the vanishing point. When I take the vanishing point, it looks like it's going all the way through. All I have to do now is decide upon whereabouts it's going to be taking place. So from this corner here, I'm going to come in, draw a line there. So if I did that in line with that, and then take that line straight up there and darken that bit of the cube. 
So there again, it looks like the cube is hollow and you can see all the way through it. So again, I'll darken in the sides just to make them stand out. Like so. That's quite a good cube, that one. And then the last one at the top, once again, three corners, back vanishing point. Decide upon a depth. This one I'm actually going to make really quite deep, so you're not going to see the back of it. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take this back corner here to the vanishing point. And all I'm actually going to see in that one is that simple line there. Okay, so that's the basics. Once again, as we did last time, I'd like you to maybe try and take your coloured pencil and try and add some colour to these. So for example, if I was to take this one here, I'd maybe have on the outside, I'd maybe have the red. Maybe have the red like so. On the front, have the red. But inside, because there'll be less light getting to that, I'll maybe try and make the inside just a little bit darker, stand out a little bit darker. Okay, and that would be what I would try and do to each of my shapes, I'd try and add a bit of colour to each of them. And then once again, as we did in the first worksheet, I would be looking for you to try and add in some more squares of your own. So looking to try and maybe, if I could just draw freehand here, maybe draw another square there with maybe another rectangle inside it. You can do this obviously with a ruler. And then you could take that back to the vanishing point. We've got some space down here to fit another one in. And then we could have space up here to fit another one in. I'm looking for you to do a minimum of eight different shapes inside your worksheet. Okay, so you see there's a series of shapes here, all going back to the vanish point as we did in the first worksheet. So this is almost the end of worksheet um, lesson two. First lesson, we learned about how to do one point perspective. And then today, we've built upon that by actually learning how to make the, the cubes look hollow. So what I'd like you to do now is to have a go at trying to complete that worksheet. Again, you can download the, the worksheet if you want from, um, from Teams, or you can just, if you haven't got a printer at home, you can just on a blank piece of paper or a lined piece of paper, start with the vanishing point in the middle, and then draw the different shapes, and then have a go at doing the one point perspective cubes. Remember, write your name in your worksheet, take a photograph of it with your phone when you've finished it, and email it back to your teacher, or through Teams assignment, send it back to your teacher, so they've got evidence of the work that you've done. Okay, enjoy.